Hey everybody, Barry with Redact.dev. Um, today I'm just going to do a little tutorial, a little walkthrough on how to mass delete Discord messages. <coughs> Excuse me. So Redact.dev uh, is a privacy tool and it allows you to quickly, easily, and automatically uh, remove content from not only Discord but other services. But for today we're going to focus on Discord. So uh, the first thing you want to do is download Discord, and, I'm sorry, download Redact, and you can find that in the video description below. So after you download Redact, uh, install it and load it up, you'll see all the services over here on the left. Uh, you can see a full list here, uh, but for this we are just going to focus on Discord. So select Discord, um, and then again, just for this test, we're going to do the test server. You know, this, this allows you to choose specific servers to target uh, and then the channels within those servers. Uh, you can also do DMs. So you can choose uh, specific DMs or all your DMs or whatever. But again, uh, for this example, we're just going to do the test server. So we got all this selected uh, date range. This will allow you to target your content uh, you know, you could do January 2nd of 2022, or you could do, uh, you know, May through August of 2023. However it is you want to do it, this is where you can do it. Uh, it allows you to get, you know, very specific with the date range that you search through. Um, so you want to select that there. Uh, here is where you can add keywords. So if you, um, let's say you were talking about, uh, there was a guy named Mike uh, that you said some, some not so nice things about, and you want to go, go back and, and remove those messages. So you just type in Mike, uh, add it to your keyword list, and then it will it'll pull all those up. It'll go through your history, and it'll pull up all the messages where you mentioned Mike, and then you can remove it. Or whatever the word is, you know, but that's just the example. Um, uh, sort direction, newest to oldest, or oldest to newest. Um, this comes in handy if you're in a big hurry to uh, search the content and start removing it immediately, uh, if, especially if you have a lot of content that the, the program has to go through, um, then this will be this will make a difference because don't forget there is a 25 per minute rate limit. So uh, if you're in a big hurry to, to seek out and find those messages and remove them, this could, this could make a big difference for you. So um, if, you, if you're not in any kind of rush, then not really that important. Uh, you can select specific message types to single out. So if you're looking for an image, maybe you posted an image that you want to get rid of, or a video, or whatever it is, you can make that distinction here. Or you can just search for everything, you know, whatever it is. Um, and this is probably the most important part. So we have preview mode, preview mode and deletion mode. Um, I highly recommend using preview, preview mode first because it'll allow you to basically start previewing and it'll show you a list of things to be deleted. So rather than just, I mean, if you do deletion mode, it's just going to wipe everything. Um, you could have stuff in there that you don't want to get rid of. You know, I would just, I would recommend doing this just to make sure uh, you, you know, you're in the right direction and you have the right kind of content that you're wanting to get rid of. And then if you are, if, uh, if the search turns out good and you say, yeah, this is, this is definitely the stuff I want to get rid of, then you can go ahead and delete it all. Or you can go through it manually and get rid of each message, you know, one by one. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, it's super simple to use and you can delete your entire history or you can just delete specific messages, uh, but it allows you to do it uh, automatically. Uh, with the, you know, to go through all your Discord history manually is going to take it's going to take forever. It's a, it's a real pain. So uh, this alleviates that and makes it super easy to deal with. So uh, if you're interested, again, the the link to Redact is in the video description. Uh, just click it, install it, and give it a shot. It's free to try. Thanks. Have a good day.